Hi guys, it's Sam and I just parked my car in front of my house. I'm so excited. It's kind of a busy street and there is parking, but a lot of the car, a lot of the, the houses across the street, they're attached houses and there's only one spot for both houses to kind of whoever gets there first. And I don't want to be one of those parking people, but I'm kind of obsessed about it. And I get annoyed when I see the same car parking in the front. I don't know why. I know I shouldn't be like that, but it's just one of my things. I'm going to try to let that go in 2019. And But I got this spot today. I'm super excited. And that just means, for me, a lot of it has to do with... This, I like to have this driveway for Steve because he comes home really late and I don't want him looking for a spot. Uh, but he says it's okay, so I should just get over it. But I'm really happy. Traffic could not... Oh, there's a cat walking across the house. Oh, it doesn't look skinny. Someone's feeding it. Oh, poor thing. It's so cold today. I, uh, traffic, I can't get over how good traffic was. Today was probably the best day for traffic. And I'm going to be, I'm going to write this down in my journal. I've been journaling. 10 out of 10. Except for this one maniac who, so we we're on the expressway and he's on the right lane and he decides to get off. He moves over to the right lane, which is a uh, exit lane. And then all of a sudden, he changes his mind. There's like a few cars ahead of me. And he and he swerves back in. Thank goodness there was nobody around him. And dust was flying everywhere. And this is the buildup of rush hour traffic. So there are cars around. And then I didn't realize that... Oh, no. I saw him get off my exit, which was the next exit. But I didn't see... I didn't realize that I was kind of next to him. And all of a sudden... So the light turns green. We're all moving. All of a sudden, he tries to move over to my lane... I don't know if he doesn't look. It seemed like he didn't look, but that was the only minor thing that made me upset. Otherwise, it was a great drive home. I thought I would vlog what I do when I get home. Some of you hopefully will find it interesting. I love these types of videos, and I thought I would start instead of the whole day, because I did try to film a whole day, and it was over 45 minutes long, and I don't have the best editing software so I thought I would try the afternoon and show you what the things that I do here and there I'm gonna go inside I will talk to you very soon one of the first things I do that I actually, actually the very first thing is say hi to Ava hi Ava girl she had a rough night last night but she had a good day today I check my mail open any packages gotta fix my stuff here and then I come into the kitchen and I put my lunch box uh, or lunch bag over there and I take my stuff out. Here is my Tupperware. I have salad. I'm trying to eat better. And then this I'm gonna this goes into the dishwasher. This I will put in hand washed. And then today's garbage night, so I don't take out the garbage outside, but I am gonna get it together so it's easier for Steve when he comes inside. And my grandmother, <laughs> she's lost something. She lost her new, uh, uh, what is it, new ID card for her health benefits. So it really disappeared. So hopefully we find it because she's gone bananas. Say hi, Ava. There you are. This is the look you give. The ID was under her shoe. So I'm a very forgetful person and so I left this out on the my passenger side seat because this is a little too dark. This is DeLoreal True Match Powder in W4 I believe. Oh I took the wrapping off but W4 so I'm going to just switch it out for the W3 which I don't know should I take the number um, I don't know. It says it's going to start snowing you know, at 6.15. Sorry, guys. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a short break to help my grandmother with something. Um, so here is my, for some reason, well, not for some reason. I was obsessed with makeup for a while, so I have, uh... I have, uh, these are, things in here are makeup products that I bought multiples of for whatever reason. So, there's another W4, which I don't need, because I already have one. And I think I have a W3 in here. Perfect. So, that's just a shade lighter. Let me show you the two. 
so not that much of a difference but i'm gonna use this one instead i'll put this into the my alex drawers makeup products that i have opened up and yeah so got sidetracked here uh with my grandmother's umbrella she couldn't open it but i'm gonna take this one i'm gonna open this before i put it into the makeup bag and i think i'll show you what's in my makeup bag right now Okay, so an unexpected turn of events, my grandmother, a family friend came by and took her out to dinner, which means I am all by my lonesome and more than I shouldn't be this happy. But I'm kind of excited just to have some quiet. There's usually a full house here. Well, not all day, obviously. I'm actually, it's me and my grandmother for a while until everybody starts to come home at night. But on the weekend, it's pretty busy. But it's nice to have some peace and quiet. <laughs> so super excited traffic was amazing coming home i got a spot in the front of the house i'm all alone right now well ava's looking out the window you know neighborhood watch and i don't have anything planned for dinner and i'm not too upset about it i'm pretty okay with it i don't know what i'm gonna do i really want to start eating healthier i did have a salad for lunch so maybe I don't know. If I come up with something interesting, I'll let you know. It'll probably be leftovers. We get the rotisserie chicken from Costco, which if you are, I know I'm like, oh, I'm the Costco girl. Can you make me your mascot, Costco? Because I will cheer you on. I get the chicken and then I make chicken soup out of it, but then nobody eats the chicken. I love, we all love the broth, but we don't really eat the chicken. So I got to figure something out with that. I guess I could have made enchiladas, but... I don't know. I'm kind of like just don't want to do anything. It's getting bad. Uh, when I have a, the right ingredients and everything's aligned in the kitchen, I'm more than happy to cook. But when I come home and I don't have a plan, I get like I don't want to do anything. So I'm going to take Ava out. That's what I usually do. What Another thing that I do when I get home. So I'll show you what my backyard looks like because I haven't shown that to you guys yet. I've also been, so this is the backyard, or the way to the backyard. So much garbage. It's garbage night, and we haven't gotten recycling pickup in the past two to three weeks because our garbage picked up fell on um, Christmas Eve and Christmas, which I totally think they deserve to be off, but there's a lot of garbage now. Um, here is the backyard. I'll try to give you a pretty good view. That shed came with it. These chairs I got. But I wanted to tell you, I've been trying to drink more water, which obviously leads to more bathroom use. Um, but I'm trying, and I get this notification, which is super annoying. <laughs> but there's Ava. This is her. This is really her palace. So I'm going to let her do her business, and then we'll go back inside because it is going to snow later. It's kind of cold. Not too bad, though. I'm not going to complain. I'm in the kitchen. I just came from inside and I just wanted to share with you I made the meal plan for this week. I only cook really Monday through Thursday and I didn't cook today but tomorrow I'm gonna have my grandmother just to give her something to do during the day. Um, she's gonna make beef shank soup which is just beef shank and mixed vegetables and then t Wednesday shrimp with pasta and then if I had zucchini, I would make zucchini noodles or try to, but I don't have that. But maybe next time. And then on Thursday, I'm going to order pizza. So, yeah, I was just thinking about it while I was outside with Ava. And that's done. I feel much better. So, <laughs> I have you on my desk. I'm going to have to talk this way. I went downstairs to the basement to get... I did laundry yesterday, but a lot of things had to... I'm going to try to take better care of my clothes. I usually just wash everything together and then put it in the dryer. But I want to kind of make my clothes look a little bit brighter and just keep them for much longer. And Ava's in here. She's walking around and I'm almost slipping off the chair because I have all of my clothes on here that I was line drying. I'll just talk to you from the floor. How about that? I also, so I got my clothes. I also got chicken stock for the soup tomorrow. I know we're making beef, a beef shank soup, but we have figured out that, or we have come to the conclusion that we like the soup with chicken broth and not uh, beef, 
beef stock or you know chicken stock we have uh from costco which again name drop costco we have everything from there so you're going to be hearing that a lot and i'm going to take out also the mixed vegetables this hair always it's, it's not ava's hair it's my hair that's all over the place so i'm going to take out the mixed vegetables that's another staple ingredient that we always have in the freezer is beef shank and uh mixed vegetables we love it so yeah i'm gonna put my clothes away and i have to do a lot of paperwork that i've just been putting off and i was supposed to make a phone call but i just came home and i was talking to my grandmother and i just got sidetracked so i'm gonna be doing that as well and Maybe I'll, oh, I want to show you something on the computer. So next time I see you, it'll probably uh, be then. Okay, so I did a few things in the interim that I was away. It's only been like five minutes. I put my clothes away. I still have to hang up some things, but Ava's sleeping right in front of the closet, which is where I have her bed. Silly, I know. I actually decided to switch, I think, Thursday instead of ordering out because we'll probably do that on the weekend, maybe get pizza on Sunday. Usually, every, all of us go out on Friday and Saturday, and I decided maybe we'll have some type of chicken dish. We have chicken thighs, so we'll probably do that. Also, I took out the mixed vegetables because that bag was too big for my grandmother. And since my sister, she has her meal set for tonight, the, my phone stopped recording because I have a water reminder, which is kind of a good thing, but also kind of annoying. I have to set it so that it doesn't like stop what I'm doing um so I took out Steve uh, a beef loin which I'm defrosting I put it it's not it's wrapped in freezer paper but I'm going to I submerged it in water and I, I put it into a ziplock bag and then submerged it in water that's a quick way to defrost if you uh didn't know that yeah I, I do that a lot so that's a really good tip it, Probably most of you know it already. I'm going to turn you around so that I can show you uh, a couple of YouTube channels that I am obsessed with right now. First, I wanted to... So speaking of laundry, I am I have these garment bags or this these laundry bags. That, this one is... You can kind of see how big it is. I, I'm going to start to put my bras in here, any delicate stuff. I decided that I should be doing that since I have them. And I actually ordered a bunch more so that my, again, like I said, my clothes can, uh, especially my bras can last a little bit longer because I've been noticing my favorite bras are starting to break down. And I think it's because I just throw them in with everything else. I should probably hand wash it, but who's got time for that? <laughs> um, so yeah, I have, I used to watch Kristen game all the time and now I'm back on it. I'm watching like her old stuff too. I'm that type of person. And then another uh, I've been also watching old-timey stuff. I don't know why, but I absolutely love the Try Guys. They're probably my absolute favorite uh, YouTube channel ever. So if you haven't watched them, I would highly recommend it. And then I have been into... Where is she? Pearl. I remember her name because I had to search for it a few times. So I did, which I'm going to show you. I, like I said, I want to pick up some hobbies. I think I mentioned that. And so I made this uh, on New Year's Eve, actually. I don't know why, but I just got the itch to do it. And so this is the channel that I watched to do it. And I watch a million, like, videos on how to do granny squares or granny circles. And... Where is the one that I had watched? Well, it doesn't really... I think... Was it this one? No, that's Bella Coco. Let me just go to her channel here. She is so easy to follow. I think this is it. Yeah. She is so easy to follow. And with this video... Oh, thank goodness. It's not that 24 hours with Gordon Ramsay or to Helen back. Oh, they play that commercial like five times in one video. Anyway, so this video is about 35 minutes. But what I did was once I got the hang of what she was talking about. So with the first row, for example, I moved on to I skipped the video and I really finished it in about half an hour or less. 
this is the first time that I actually finished something. I started something and finished it. So really happy with that. And she is awesome. So let me go back to her page. It is Crochet Made Easy Pearl Gomez. Really easy to understand. And yeah, I subscribe to her. Um, she's pretty cool. And I gotta watch other videos. She makes a whole bunch of stuff here. So I'm excited to work on it. And I got my, uh, if you saw my recent haul, I got new yarn that I can play with. So pretty exciting. Look, crochet for Christmas. That's awesome. Let's see what this is. So she has snowflakes, Christmas trees, a star. Oh, pretty cute stuff. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I have, this is where I have my to-do list of mail that I have to open up. I'm gonna be doing that. I really, 5.30 right now, I'm gonna have to think about what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Um, there's a couple of leftovers. I used to be a leftover person, but recently, I don't know, I just want fresh food. So, we'll see what I come up with. And of course, there's Ava, she's sleeping. Ava? I shouldn't bother her. Okay, I'll leave her alone. So, which I said I wasn't gonna do it. Pinch myself. Goodness gracious. I'm trying not to say so because I have noticed that I say that word a bazillion times. So, <laughs> see? Oh my goodness, this is real life. I'm not gonna edit stuff anymore. I'm just that... Ugh. Okay, I have... If you don't have Evernote on your phone, I use that thing all day long. My mind is just the type that I need to write stuff down. It's like a thought comes in and then another thought pushes it out. So I have to write stuff down. One of the things that I needed to do was, oh, it's so nice that I cleaned out. I don't know if I'm going to upload that video, but I did. Um, so my makeup vanity was such a mess. My skincare stuff was just sticking out everywhere. So I fixed that. It's so nice. Whenever I clean and organize and throw things away, I feel so good afterwards. I don't know why I'm holding on to so much stuff. That's another thing that I'm going to add to my resolutions. Is Oh, I think I did. It says declutter minimize. So it's already on there. That's another thing that I do is I constantly forget that I've done something and I will look and I've already done it. So, okay, I have to fix my eyebrows. That was on my Evernote to-do list and it's a constantly ongoing list, but that was one of them. This side, I love this eyebrow. It seems so much easier to do like in the morning when I'm doing my eyebrows, but this side... It's just, I don't know what's wrong with it. Now that I'm looking in the mirror, ugh, I I try to do, if you follow Korean makeup at all, I try to do, there's like the brows, they don't curve over here. They kind of go straight out. But I did it and I kind of like regretted it because I just didn't do it the right way. So I'm going to just play around and see if I can kind of... I know they're not supposed to look exactly the same, but I want them to sort of... I don't know. It just always seems like this brow is not... I don't like it. So I'm going to try to fix it. I'll be back. Sorry for this up close and personal shot, but I wanted to show you... A little bit with focus. So I think I kind of got them... So this is the eye that's really bothering me, and particularly right over here. I don't do that heavy. I don't go too heavy on the brows, but I do like them to have a little bit of definition. I shade them in a little bit. I don't know. They look decent. I had to stop because I was just pulling out a whole bunch of hair, and I don't want to be left with super thin eyebrows. So this is the best it's going to be for right now. Mm-hmm. I'm in the kitchen and I decided to make my lunch for tomorrow. Still deciding what I should eat for dinner. I really need to decide. It's already 6.30, which by the way, my grandmother's not back yet. Staying out late. So in here, I didn't put the lettuce in because I like to put the lettuce in the top. I feel like if you put all the other stuff that you want in your salad on top of the lettuce, the lettuce gets kind of soggy. 
So I have chicken from Costco, tomatoes from Costco, the prosciutto is from Costco. That I'm trying to finish up. And then on the bottom I have onions and shredded cheese. And onions, sometimes I don't want to eat it just because it gives you bad breath. But I'm like, I don't care. I'm trying to eat healthy. And I also did make hard-boiled eggs. I'm probably going to have one now and then save the other two for work. Lettuce is over there that I didn't cut up yet. And then my one of my favorite dressings is the Brianna's brand. And this is my favorite one that I've tried so far. It's the blush wine. We had a potluck a few years ago or two years ago. And the teach, one of the teachers brought it. Absolutely love it. So I'm working on that. I'm defrosting. <laughs> I told you I submerged it in water. But on top to keep it low, uh, submerged, I have it mason jar on top. I know. I'm going to clean that up because I hate having a mess in the kitchen. And then I'll figure out something to eat. Hey guys, so this is, I take Ava out one last time, usually usually around 9 o'clock. It's a little bit past 9. Hopefully she'll do something. Last time I took her, she didn't want to go. Not today, last time, but the other night. So yeah, we're ending our night. I'll see you guys one last time. Um, before I take a shower. Hi guys! So this is the end of the night. It is 10.04. I've been trying to get to sleep earlier and I'm tired, but then when I lay down to bed, I'm just not tired. So we'll see what happens today. Hopefully I'll get some sleep and that this one won't disturb us. Did you just see her? So yeah, um... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It's dark, so I don't think it's going to get any more. <laughs> Excuse this. I have been breaking out on my chin area. Well, and also my cheek. This half of my face down. And I don't know why. I think it's because of stress and what I've been eating. Holidays are over. I'm trying to get back on track. So hopefully this will go away. I'm used to hormonal breakouts, but this has just been ongoing for the last like three, four weeks. And I'm using the exfoliate, the spot treatment, and I really like it. It really dries the area though, um, but I can feel it working. It does burn slightly a little bit when you first apply it, but it goes away within seconds. So enjoying that. I have opened up the little kit that I got from her where you get the cleanser, the spot treatment, and the exfoliate. That I think gave me actually a burn on this side of my nose because it was flaky and it hurt. I think I scrubbed too hard. It said to leave on for two minutes, but one minute if you have sensitive skin and I should have listened. But no, I left it on for longer. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you want me to do any more i just find these videos so interesting and hopefully you found mine somewhat interesting and i'll see you guys soon bye say bye ava